Oh my god, we can put your suspension on it. Oh, that's that's incredible. Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome to Forza Horizon 4. And it's winter and we've got a new car. And because those, those funny guys over at Playground are funny, the new car this season is an electric hypercar. Because why wouldn't it be? Now I have to find it. This is our new car. It's um, I was expecting it to be the top of S2 stock. I'm not gonna lie, and the value isn't two hundred fifty thousand. Isn't that interesting? That's a lot of talk, and a lot less weight than I was expecting. I um, after driving this in Rivals, I don't think it's going to be anything special, but it should be fun. I really hope it's got drift suspension, because. This would make for a stupid drift car. Very slow to accelerate, and that's why I don't think it's going to be that good for anything. Oh, believe it or not, this car, this uh, this Batmobile, has got no grip on snowy gravel. Who would have thought? Let's go see how fast it can go stock and then we'll go upgrade it and see how fast it can go upgraded right i have no idea how fast this car is actually meant to go in real life you know i'm a professional so i didn't do any research before starting this i'm gonna guess 250 about 240 250 is my guess we have got no, it feels like it weighs like two and a half tons. I assumed it did when I was driving it in the rivals. Well, there's 241. 241 is its top speed. It, it, it does sound good though. I'll give it that. Sounds like an electric whisk. Can we tune the gear? We can't. If we upgrade it, can we tune the gear? Right. Now, I have no idea what to expect from upgrades on this. There is drivetrain upgrades. That could be gearing. It could also be diff. And no drivetrain swaps. Ah, no gearing. Right, that lack of gearing upgrades, I think, just pretty much guarantees this car is going to be useless. Which is a shame. Oh, oh my god, we can put your suspension on it. Oh, that's that's incredible. So we can do stuff like this, but we were gear limited, so this is going to make no difference to our top speed. So I'm wondering, can I put drag tyres on it? Oh my god, I can. Should we just go straight to trying to drift it? Should we start with uh, normal tyres and go over to drag tyres? Yeah. We got some thick boys on here. I kind of like the wheels as they are. Bring them out a bit. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go see if we can take it sliding. Right, so this car is going to be beyond useless. Right, all I've done is lock the diff. Now, I think this might be hard, just purely because of the terrible gear. Oh, bloody hell, sent itself sideways there. That wasn't even me. Oh, it, mm, I feel like the gear is just killing it. I feel like the car's lack of good upgrades is also probably killing it. And as you just saw, there's no anti-roll bar upgrades, and you can't put anti-roll bars on it. So... Say goodbye to any chance of this car ever being any good for anything. At least it's here to look ugly. I've got that going for it. It is the ugliest car in the game now. And we've just a locked diff. It, it, it doesn't drift. It doesn't drift well. No, it just loses everything. We could, uh, we could try and mess with the alignment. Let's see. If I bring this out, 
I'm just going to bring all of this completely out. I'm going to go full points build on it. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to... I really hope this drifts. Because if it doesn't drift, then it's useless. Oh, God. Um... It's just got nothing. Now, granted, I'm not the best at this, but... Oh, it's just useless. I don't... I've, what else can I even change? Let's make the back of it stiffer, maybe. Yep, let's just see if this helps any. Honestly, I kind of doubt it. I would like it to prove me wrong and actually be good at something. But, let's be honest, it's not, not the best car to drive, is it? Now, granted, it is also winter. That shouldn't be changing much. Driving on dry roads in the winter is the, uh, the same as just driving in the uh, in the snow. No, not snow, uh, rain. So this shouldn't be making much of a difference because there's no snow on this road, but, you know. But you just, no momentum. Now, the only other thing I can think of doing is putting it on drag tyres. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Right, it has now been fully tuned as if it was just any old meta... I say meta, meta uh, drift car for points. Using the methods of Ken Blockson, let's see if it slides. Oh. It slides. I'm going to be honest, the uh, the lack of noise and the single gear is really off-putting. So, you know, don't take this as a definitive. It's awful. You know what? You never know. It feels like it's sliding quite well. Let's see if we can do anything through this drift zone. Oh, it struggles through that tight a bit. It definitely struggles at slower speeds. It's not the best. Not the best at all. But through the faster stuff, though, it definitely does slide. Also, interestingly, you can drop the aero to zero on this car. I don't, I don't think there's another car in the game that lets you do that. But if you go to the aero tuning, you can drop it just to zero, front and rear. And that's what I've done, because we don't want any aero interference. It 360s fairly easily. Right, because this is set up like Ken Block Son's cars, it is incredibly soft. I'm gonna see if making the back of it stiffer helps. Let's just double this up to 100. Might need to uh, change the diff because this might make it just spin. Whoa. Right, come on, Razor. It just, it just feels like it's got nothing. I thought electric cars were meant to have more torque in the lower end. And it's not heavy either. I mean it is, but... You know, heavy by Forza terms maybe.
I feel like if a better tuner had this, it actually could be a decent drift car. And I hope it ends up being good for something, because but it is hideous, but it's also cool. So I'd like it to be usable. I keep trying to clutch kick, but <laughs> there's no clutch, so it doesn't do anything. I've got the handbrake and nothing else. Yeah, look, it just, it just runs out of everything. Oh, I want it to be good so badly. I don't know what else I could do with it. This is the tune I've got on it, in case you know, anyone's wondering. No anti-roll bars, which I think is going to massively hinder its chances. You can drop the arrow to zero. Yeah. Oh. I, uh, I haven't checked. Should we check the forts of one shop? I haven't checked the forts of one shop. Oh. I mean, eh? If you missed the Honda S800, there you go. There's your chance to get it. What's in the Super 7 this week? Oh, well, the Super 7 reward's good. I highly recommend you get that. You can put the RTR engine in it. It's great. But yeah, that's the Razor Tachyon Speed. I tried. I really did. Oh, it's um. I hope I will be able to make another video on it because it ends up being good for something. Or maybe once uh, Ken Blockson's got a tune out for it. If I could convert it to rear wheel drive, that would be great. But none of the electric cars can have drivetrain swaps, which is really disappointing. Because this would be great fun as a rear wheel drive. But it is what it is. I definitely think it can drift. Not well, <laughs> but it can. Maybe it'll be good for reverse drifting. You never know. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. I'm going to go make a Batmobile design for this car. Because that's kind of... The back of it looks like Batmobile. The front of it just looks hideous. But yeah, that will be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out. It's cool. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. And after I recorded that, I discovered you can't even upgrade this car to the top of S2. So it is, in fact, completely 100% useless. Nice.